Any Thursday nerves? No, why should there be? Back on my old stomping ground. Fantastic. Have you contacted your dad yet? No, not yet. Been a bit busy. You should take a look at these. Uh, it's a bit of a mixed bag, I'm afraid. Mr. Finley, the head of Havelock High School, is accusing us of stealing his pupils. And he has been out briefing the press at big time. Right. But there's some good ones too. Waterloo Road proves a hit with parents, see? That's better. I wanted it spotless, yeah? Morning, guys. <laughs> this old place has scrubbed up well. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I suppose it'll have to do. But we have good teachers. Largely. If there's one reason to make this place work, it's Denzel Kelly. Weren't we meant to get the results of the inquest by now? Yeah, they came in yesterday. Just as we thought, the driver of that lorry was twice over the limit. Um, I think I'm going to go over to the schoolhouse and let Tarek know. Okay. Here we go. What are you doing in there? I found it, all right. I didn't know how to tell you. Tell me what? I want to go Waterloo Road, Drew. It's a school. The headmaster sounds brilliant, wanting everyone to come, no matter how poor you are. Don't be stupid, Jane. I need to get qualifications. But you can't. Not yet. You know they'll still be looking for us. They'll never find us. I use the false name and address. What are you saying? Are you gone in the road? I went to the local library. They had all the forms there. Why are you doing this? I thought I was enough for you. We can't go on the run forever, Drew. A few more weeks, yeah? Make sure all this is died down. I can't. Today's the first day of term. I work in a stupid school. Be more important than us. I am thinking about us. I want to get a job someday. We need to live somewhere decent. OK. If you're going to school, me and all. You're joking me. You can't. I mean, someone might have... That's a risk I'll have to take. I'm not asking you to come with me. Anyone would think you don't want me there. Is that it? Don't be stupid. Of course I do. Right. Go well, settled then. I'm coming with you. Okay. If you want to come to school, you're not showing me up. Come on. Can't you bring me breakfast with bed? We've got kids out there to look after. House daddy. Do not call me that. <laughs> I'm winding you up, man. You make it so easy for me. Why did I sign up for this? <sighs> because we need that extra money. Get yourself in the shower. Come on. I can't believe that I am sharing a house with a bunch of feral teenagers from Waterloo Road. Did he sleep walk here, Pat? I can manage. I'm full. 
hope you enjoyed your breakfast, Rihanna. Yum, yum. You've done that on purpose, you know, like her. There's plenty of fruit. You should have the fruit. Hey, 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 what is it with you two, eh? We have only been in this house a couple of days and you have been at each other's throats the whole time. She's just jealous because I've got a bigger room than her. We picked those rooms fair and square, Rhiannon, and out of hand. So, you better live with it. Oh, hand in your key, I'll give you the bus fare back to Rochdale. I'm not going back to that foster mum, no way. I don't like it here. Well, you're going to have to try out your house. I just want to go home. Hope Springs. But you know Dad don't want us home. Whether we ever like it or not. And hope draineth away. Phoenix, will you go and look after your brother? It's just a touch of homesickness. Oh, join the club. <laughs> there you go. Scout, can I get you a cup of breakfast, love? Morning, everyone. Good morning. I thought I'd pop over, see if I could be of any use. Thanks for giving us a bath. Morning. It's another morning. Jeez! I'm here, I'm the You're hot in that uniform, eh? Right? She's not finished yet! She's <laughs> not finished yet! <laughs> so we got the results of the inquiry. Uh, who was responsible for the crash? What do I care? Won't change anything for me. I'm a crip. That is the last time you use that word in my hearing, do you understand? You can do anything that anyone else can do. Yeah, you want to try taking a slash with no legs? You know there's a canoeing club near here. So? So, you should think about joining up. It'll keep you fit, and it'll give you a sense of the freedom and control. You need legs to get in a boat. Well, we could find a couple of guys to lift you in. It's... Rhiannon! Bradley! Right! Where is it? What are you on about? You're not fine. My school uniform? Seeing I nicked your uniform? Well, somebody has. That's a new one on me, nicking a school uniform. Burn's gonna go away. All I've got is these jeans and this hoodie. Not my fault. For God's sake! I bet she's flogged it down the local market. She's nicking anything and selling it for skunk. I seen her. You're not serious, are you? Don't tell her I told you. She killed me. What are we gonna do? Be as of the wise monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil. Otherwise, this job is going to be 24-7. It's supposed to be 24-7. That is what they're paying us for. And drugs found in this boarding house could lose us our jobs. And no jobs, no wedding. And no, zip it, Grantly, because we are not having a small do in a registry office. Mm. I remember the first time we did this for me. That was when you really got to me. Oh, shaking me. Well, don't shake now. You'll be wearing bits of toilet paper on your face all day. I love you, Jade. You know that, don't you? I know that. There's no way I'm going to let you go to this school on your own. Don't say stuff like that. I don't mean anything by it. Yeah, but you know what that guy said. You need to control yourself. I know, babe. I'm trying, you know. But think about it. I mean, this could be good for me too. I could turn my life around. Never know. <laughs> Might grow up to be a brain surgeon. <laughs> Get a move on. You've got two minutes. <laughs> two minutes? Two minutes. <laughs> so, we have got a full school role. Yes. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Parents around here want better for their children. Mind them. Mrs Mulgrew, thrilled that you accepted our offer. Oh, I'm so glad you accepted my application, Mr Byrne. No, no, your references were outstanding, and our English department needs you. 
You must be Connor. Mm. Welcome to Waterloo Road. Right, well, um, off you go, Connor. See if you can make some new friends. What's the point? I just want to thank you, Mr. Byrne, for taking Connor on. He seems like a fine young man to me. Oh, he is. It's, uh, he can just be a bit of a stranger to the truth at times. Mrs. Nielsen, how are you? Don't look so suspicious. They might not let you in dress like that. If they don't let me in, it's them will be sorry. Jake, I'm not so worried, I'm joking. If things don't work out, we can just pack up and go home, OK? No. No, I think I'm going to like it here. Wish I could be so sure. I thought I was giving you a lift this morning. Oh, I wish you did. It was freezing waiting for that bus. They said it was going to be cold, but they never said it was going to be flaming Baltic. Well, what happened? Oh, Mr. Byrne wanted me to come in early to sort this lot out. Do you know that we've had nearly like 300 applications? Really? Oh, and forget about that lift home. Looks like I'm going to be here till midnight. That's a, that's a shame. I was just wondering if you fancy going to see a movie later. Are you asking me on a date, Chuck? A, a date? No. It's just a movie. Movie's not a date, is it? It's just, just, a, just a movie. It's just that I've got our Cheryl. But I could ask the Charmander to stay on a little while. She won't mind. So that's a yes, is it? But I'm not paying her extra for nothing, am I? Full. Ah. History. I note a woman of mature years, Audrey. Tell me, did Michael bring you out of retirement for his glorious experiments? I was about to ask you the same question. <laughs> uh, did, didn't you teach in this building when it was Havelock High School? Not a happy time. Dress cold, corridor cold, cold of conduct. It's like a military academy. You should try teaching somewhere where there are no rules. Assembly time. <laughs> Hello, though. We've uh, not been introduced. Uh, I'm Daniel Chalk. Most people call me Chalky. Oh, hello, Chalky. Nice to meet you. I'm Christy Mugru. Mm. So you're from Havelock High as well? Uh, no, I was um, teaching in Glasgow before. My son and I just fancied a change. Let me get that for you. Are you sure? Thank you. Register me. She's a little bit gaga. Here she Jane? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to leave the premises. We need you to enrol. Sir, please let him in. I've read all about this school. You said you take any kid, no matter what the background, right? As long as I want to work hard and learn. Mm -hmm. well, well, that's me. Isn't it, Jane? Defo. Sorry, we have rules, and you haven't enrolled. Excuse me. Enrolled. Enrolled. What's the big difference? Well, like you said, we are a fool. Didn't someone say that to Mary and baby Jesus? Look, th there is an alternative school in the area. Have you tried there? I see. I would, sir, but the uh, master's not up to much. I think it's well out of order slagging off in the papers. I'm telling you, sir, it's great you've opened Morton Road. I feel like a bit of competition to raise the standards, eh? Thank you for the cavalry. Surely we can fit in just one more. Look, me, headmaster, you, Hands off sponsor, remember? 
All right, Drew, how does this sound? You show me what you're capable of today, and we may be able to come to some arrangement. Get yourself up to my secretary's office, give her all of your details, and pick yourself up a school uniform. First corridor on the left. This is the school office? No, it's the gym, can't you tell? Ed Mans has had to give my details. Oh, more details. That's all I need. Did you have to enrol me? Like now? I am not taking orders off you. Who are you anyway? Drew Willis, take it down. W I double L. Yeah, I know how to spell Willis. P L O N K E R. 43 Burns Lane, Greenock. GLQ 143A16. Year 12. You got a problem with that? Got a problem with you, you cheeky get. I was held back here at my old school for being thick. Like your jumper. Welcome, all of you to Waterloo Road. This is the first day of our future together. But before we celebrate that future, I think we should remember the past. Our dear friend Denzel Kelly, who as many of you know, tragically died in the accident over the summer. If we could just take a moment of silence now to remember him. Waterloo Road is a school in the community and for the community. The only qualification you need to come here is that you live in the area and you want to learn. But this school wouldn't even be here without one very important person. So let me introduce the woman who's paying for all of this, your very own school benefactor, Ms. Lorraine Donegan. <laughs> Lorraine Donegan! Hi, guys! Don't you all look gorgeous in your new uniforms? <laughs> the reason I set up this school is to help kids like you. Oh, I'm in. I set up my first business in this town, and I've done all right. And the main reason for that is that headmaster sitting there. The best in the country. <laughs> he was the teacher who turned my life around. And I know he's going to do the same for you. You're in the best hands. So work hard! <laughs> Puts me in mind of the Nuremberg rallies. Right, inside, please. Single file and no talking. She's my hatchet face, isn't she? You want to try living with her? No. She's my mum. For real? I said no talking. I don't know how to spell belief at this stage. 
We're going to have an uphill challenge getting you to A-level English. Try my best, miss. Maybe you should try a bit harder. My mum's in prison. I thought she was the worst mum in the world. No, it's definitely her. Walk! I've got history next, I hate history. Really? I love history. Oi! That's my blazer. And then my trousers and all. You must have broken into my room and leave Oi, leave her! Scout, what's going on? She sold my uniform. She's a thief. That's my badge. I've had it for years. And then my trousers and all. Right, get to your classes, you lot, please. And you. She's with me. No, she's not. She's with me. My classroom. There's no rule against teachers taking a girl to a classroom on her own. And you are. Drew. Willis. Mr. Clarkson, deputy head. Like I said, get to your class. She doesn't fancy you if that's what I think. Oh, shit. Look it up. You two, wait there. Sit there. You've got a problem. That girl seems scared of you. Nah. You're crazy. She loves me. Oscar. I'm going to be watching you. You report back here to me at morning break. You do the same at lunchtime. Do you understand? Follow me. Where are you taking, Jane? Well, that'll be my little secret. I'm not surprised to see you again. I'm really sorry, sir. I didn't break in or anything. I just walked through the door. It wasn't locked. Some burglars smash windows, some walk through open doors. Either way, you're still a thief. Please don't call the police, sir. First thing you're going to do is give Jodie back her uniform. <laughs> I'd hold on it now. She's buggy. Enough! Uh, maybe Jane should just keep hold of the uniform, Mr Byrne. We've got new ones in stock, haven't we? Jade, I'd like you to apologise to Jodie, please. I'm dead sorry, Jodie. It's scowl. Honest to God, my mum wouldn't give me any money for a uniform, and I really wanted to come here. It's all right. Those trousers were horrible on me anyway. That's very big of you, Jodie. Go and collect a new uniform from Miss Croft. Now, Jade, on to your next class, please, and I don't want to see you in this office again until you're picking up the prize for best pupil, all right? Off you go. You ever feel you're being lied to? Oh, yes. There's something going on between her and another pupil. Yeah, Drew Willis. They're half-brother and sister. Well, if they are, there's definitely something not right. When this school was the old Havelock High, they wanted to take history off the curriculum. But there's so much we can learn about ourselves from towering figures of the past. Winston Churchill, Robert the Bruce, Henry VIII. What can we learn from Henry VIII? I beg your pardon, Connor Mulgrew? I mean, he married his dead brother's wife, got rid of her, married another five and executed two of them. Well, you know loads. All parents have signed up to our strict rules of classroom behaviour. Uh, he can do it once. His mum's an English teacher in this school. What did you tell her that for? You two will write me an essay on why schools should teach history. 500 words. Yes, Lula. Will we also study the history of Africa? Well, we may not get round to all of it. Do you have a special area of interest, Lula? Jade's no paperwork for him yet. It's giving me this number is not recognised message and this address. I've phoned up the council and the house has been budged up for months. Right. Keep an eye on Drew, Tom. I've got him reporting to me at morning break. Good. Now, don't forget, it's an equation, so, so if it doesn't balance at the end, you have to start from the beginning again. Morning, class. Morning, Mr. Thank you. Sit back down, please. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Chalk. I just need a quick word with Jade Willis. Of course. And Drew, what are you doing here? I thought you'd be in year 13. How old are you? 
I'm 16, sir. 17 next September. Uh, Jade's being fitted for a new PE kit, so unless you'd like to try one on. <laughs> I'll be fine, Drew. Now, come on. Interruption over. Back to your favourite subject, equations. <laughs> Jade, I need you to be honest with me. This application, it's all nonsense, isn't it? No, sir, it's just... The address, the phone numbers, you made it all up. Is there anything in this that's true? Yes, sir. It's true that I really want to come to this school. I need to be here. What about Drew? You can stop lying, Jade. He's not your brother, is he? Okay, you can tell me, or I'll call social services and you can explain the whole thing to them. Your choice. So, how about we just start from the beginning? <laughs> now, move, will you? Just because you can't walk, don't mean you can boss folk about. Let go. Where are you going? To the toilet. Fine. Mrs. Mulgrew? Yes. Miss McFall. History. Oh, hello. Uh, your son. Yes. He's bright. Very bright. But there's just a little too much playing to the gallery, if you know what I mean. After all the warnings I've given him, I really do apologise. Well, it's not that bad. But I, I just thought I'd mention it. You're looking for someone? A pain in the backside called Drew Willis. Yeah. And here's me thinking this school was going to be a nice, easy ride. Thanks, but I can manage. You know, I don't be here today, I've to let people help me. Yeah, well, you don't know what it's like having everyone take the piss out of you. Yeah, really. I heard you had a nickname for me when I was in the psychiatric ward. The mentalist. Maybe you heard wrong. Really. Oi! What are you doing? It gets a bit cold at night, though. How long have you been living like this? Only a week or two. Maybe a couple of months. Look, I had nowhere else to go. Drew came with me because I was scared on my own. We love each other. Your mother needs to know that you're safe. She doesn't care about me. Why else do you think she hasn't reported me missing? How do I know that she hasn't? She couldn't care less about me. Jade, you need to come on back to school, OK? I mean, look at this place. Why do you think you're so... run down? And I'll need you to get checked out by the school nurse, you and Drew both. So collect up all your things, all right? Because you're not staying here another night. Shout at me, pal. I don't know where she is. I want to know where she is. Oh, what do you think you're doing? Oh, dead master's got Jade. Where's he taking her? None of your business. She is my business. She's my girlfriend. So you say. Why? What's well, stated? I asked you a question. She's not your property, pal. What are you trying to do to us, eh? You trying to split us up or something? No, you're being stupid now. Someone's gonna get that space fight! You have got two options. One, you are coming down the cooler with me where you will calm down. Or two, you're going out of that door for good. Yeah. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Mum! 
Where are you going? Scout. There's that girl that stole your uniform. Oh, aye. Fancy or something, do you? What? No, it's just... Look, Phoenix, I'm not trying to be cheeky, eh, yeah, but... Tom's going to get one. How did this happen? Well, there is such a thing as spontaneous combustion. Thanks, Tom. I got the bad mobile phones. This will be all over YouTube. We need to find the culprit. It might be the headmaster from Havelock High. Right, get back to your brakes. You all right with this, Tom? Jake? Jake? Uh, Michael? We need to fill you in. Our boyfriend. rooms in the schoolhouse for tonight. Uh, that's not a good idea. They need to be kept apart. Like I said, Drew acts like he owns her. We're gonna have to contact social services anyway, so I'll get Drew's file. Well, that'll be a work of total fiction as well. Come on, you. With me. Jade, can you remember when you had your last period? I'm not really sure. My life's been upside down for months. Do you know you're pregnant? I need to know why you were both sleeping in a derelict house. Jade's given me her story. What does she say? Never you mind what she said. I want to hear your version. Both over 16, we can do what we want. No, not when you're in my school, you can't. I have a duty of care. Do your parents know you've been sleeping rough? My mum's off the planet. They took her away to an institution. I couldn't pay the rent. So... So you don't have any other relatives? No friends who could give you a couch to sleep on? I'm just Billy No Mates, aren't I? Right. We need to get you checked out. Checked out? Yes. You could have caught anything sleeping in that dump. How long have you known? I don't know. I was just praying that it wasn't for real. But I've missed three now. And do you know who the father is? Of course I do. I'm not a tart. We better tell You him. can't tell anyone about this. This is my private business. Come in. Everything all right, nurse? Uh, yes, everything's fine. Jake, go to the dining room and get yourself something to eat, please. I'm going to offer Jade a room in our schoolhouse and try to find some foster accommodation for you. Split us up? No way. Well, I'm not banning you from seeing each other. Because I'm not going to let you. Can I get that and all? To be honest, I shouldn't be giving you anything to eat. That was a pack of lies you told me about Scout, wasn't it? Eh? Yeah. There wasn't even a hint of any drugs in our room. How do you know? Never you mind how I know. You two are gonna have to try and get on. They're trying to split us up, Jane. Huh? What are you talking about? That headmaster said he's gonna give you a room in the schoolhouse. I don't look like you're happy about it. I don't know, Drew. If it's just till we get sorted, I've got something I need to tell you. Better call social services. I'm going to get found out. No, you won't. Listen to me, Drew. We have to make a run for it. No. I can't. If I say we make a run for it, we make a run for it, OK? Oi! Offer! Please, Drew! Jay. Stop it, Drew! I'm not coming with you! Jay. 
Son, don't be stupid. Anyone come near me? They'll get it! Drew, we can help you. is Drew Kelly. He and Jade Fleming ran away from their care home in Hackney three months ago. You had a lucky escape, sir. Last person tried to separate those two got his lung punctured. Bloody hell. She'll need police protection. How cool is that? He's one of the fastest runners in the world. He's got no legs. You could beat us all in that thing. Grantly. Christine. Hmm. Friendly visit? Didn't see you at lunch. No, I had to nip out uh, unexpectedly. Was there something? A, a tradition with the Waterloo Road staff to repair to the local hostelry after a hard day's work for a light libation. Well, well, you have to have something to lift your spirits, don't you, Grantly? Mm, I see it as a reward for a job no sane person would willingly do. Oh, it's so good to know you have a sense of fun. You know, the teachers at my last school were a bunch of miserable sods. Mm. So I trust the Bannockburn Arms, four o'clock. Looking forward to getting to know everyone. <clears throat> oh, my God, how embarrassing. Mm, small malfunction in the wardrobe department. Yeah, well, that's, um, that's never happened to me before. So the Bannockburn Arms, then, at uh, uh, four. <clears throat> Any minute. I feel 
think I'm alright though. Bo far. You can't stay here, Jade. It will be all over for us. There's more than just us now, Drew. We can't go on a run with a baby. What are you saying? We have to. I need to stay at the schoolhouse. For our baby's sake. I told you not to go to that school. But you didn't listen. I'm going back to Scouts tonight because one of your staff roommates have given us punishment exercises to do. Oh. Well, you must have deserved it. So, what time will you be back? I don't know. Well, just don't be late, Connor. I I'll see you at home. I've got a few things to do. I hope Scout can keep you out of mischief. Maybe I'm wrong about you, Mum. You seemed a nice mm. Night, Mr. Clarkson. Miss McFall. There's a few of us heading to the port, if you fancy it. Oh, you betcha. We all need a stiff drink after that first day. I'm buying. Great. So uh, I'll pick you up about seven, then. <laughs> we'll get ourselves a big bag of popcorn. Oh, I hate it when people munch through them things. Box of chocolates, then. You go to watch a movie, to watch and listen, not to scoff your face. How about we go for food after? A nice meal. We can afford it, can't you? Happy with that, Janice. More than happy. <laughs> Everyone needs to know where they've come from because they need to know where they're going. A deeper study of history will help analyse current events, individuals and places. Therefore, it is essential in every school curriculum. Job done. What are you going to write for yours? I'll think of something. Do you fancy or something? Don't be daft. Well, good. Cos me and Scout are together, right? No, we're not, Phoenix. Maybe we were in England, but things are different now. I don't think anyone wants us, mate. OK, everybody, grubs up! Me and all. Well, yes. There's plenty for everyone. Don't look so shocked. It's just that I'm not allowed folk back to my house. What's that thing gonna do? This school has ruined everything. If you take Jade away from me. It's true. What you do right now is gonna determine the rest of your life. I don't have a life anymore! Don't you get that? It's going to be a mother. That's what's changed everything. We know about the stabbing in the care home. Yeah, we know about it. So if you really want a chance of seeing Jade and your baby, the only really one thing you can do is it. No, can't. You hand yourself over to the police, there's every chance they'll cut down that sentence. You'll have time to get out, really make something of your life. That's why they took Jade away from you. <laughs> you just became unhealthy, Drew. Your parents abandoned you. And the judge will take into account any mental health issues.
just need help. <laughs> but if today isn't a slap in the face for our zero tolerance smug headmaster, I don't know what is. I think Michael Byrne is brilliant. Ooh, has everyone got that from Miss McFall? If she hears anyone call Mr. Byrne smug, she's going to give us all lines. <laughs> My shout, I think. Tom, are you up there? Is it just me? Are these bottles getting smaller? <laughs> hey, child care, you better? Yeah, we don't want to miss the trailers, do we? Surely not. I am usually of the opinion there is nothing new in the world. I've just been proved wrong. A, a little wager on the end result. I'll give my chance, Grantley. Now, believe me, that is a tragedy of Shakespearean proportions waiting to happen. I am burned from what I have learned. There are other sides to learn. The story's heard, and there are. Don't talk to him, sorry. I'd do anything for her, I love her. Oh, well done for writing this. I'm going to look after her. What's happened? Being a bad boy, miss. Thanks for giving me a chance. See you, mate. He's been on the run from police for months. He stabbed a worker in his care home. Well, if I ever needed a lesson in butting out, you might have to brace yourself for the headlines tomorrow. OK, look, I'm not taking no for an answer. Us three are going for a nice meal on me, my favourite restaurant. <laughs> Tom, are you doing anything at the moment? Well, it's a delicate one, but I think you're the man for the job. with a shocked face, Connor. Seen a ghost or something? Hi, Mum. I'm just leaving. Where are you? Why don't you stay? <coughs> what a good idea. No, Mum, we've got to go. You're such a spoon sport, Connor. Come on, Mum. <laughs> oh, great little goody churches. <laughs> you all right, Mum? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I've left a car at the pub. You are not driving in that state. Shut your face. Budgin, <clears throat> you don't look like you can string two words together, let alone discuss lesson plans, especially <sighs> with her. I'm so cold, Stoner. Yeah, well, you will be when I hoy this at you. Oh, Maggie, don't be like that. That's just joining in with my new work colleagues. Who'd have thought they could drink me on under the table? Hmm? Yes, well, 
The next time that you decide to go to the pub to chat work, I'll be joining you. Somebody stole the brother's photo on an OO. <coughs> what are you laughing about, Raspberry Face? Hang on, don't upset yourself. We'll get it sorted. Well, you better hurry. Adam Salt's gonna get murdered. I could sit through the whole thing again. Probably because the company was so good. I've had enough now. I'm trying to watch my figure, aren't I? Why are you? You're lovely. I suppose we should be getting back. Look, I I've got a bottle of red wine. I hate red wine. White? <laughs> Listen, if we're out, then we're out. And there's no way I'm going home to see Cheryl bawling her head off. I'm not sure about this, Janice. Janice? Janice? Michael? The school curriculum. Mm -hmm. It's a bit... <laughs> snooty, isn't it? Well, I think elite. Might be the word that you're looking for. I was thinking more along the lines of bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, I'm not running the school, but I do have an interest in helping the kids learn things that will be useful to them. Mm -hmm. So, I thought I'd get the ball rolling with this. It's a design competition. And the winner takes £5,000. No, not gonna happen. Michael, listen. Once the parents hear their kid could be up for winning five grand, they're gonna come flocking. Even more. We don't need any more pupils, Lorraine. Did I mention the bench was for Denzel's Peace Garden? Right, fine, but only if the money contributes towards their university fees. You are such a spoil sport. There's nothing wrong with the kids competing for financial reward. Well, there is if it disrupts their academic goals. Come on, we are supposed to be celebrating. I mean, who'd have thought we'd ever have parents queuing up to get their kids into Waterloo Red? Me, for one. Well, at least we know the worst day of the year is over. Cheers. Ah, thought it was you lot. The carpet baggers. Here they are, folks. The hoi polloi celebrating destroying your local school. You're bun, I take it. Yes, and who the hell are you? Your rival. He's the head of Havelock High, and he's a moron. We'd like to dine in peace, if you don't mind. Oh, yes, yes, of course. And why don't you clink your glasses to the four members of my staff that I let go this week? Yeah. Ask yourself why. Because you told them a lie. That you need private money to give kids a good education. No, excuse me, not one child is paying to go to Waterloo Road, and I wouldn't be there if they were. What's your bag, bum? I'm coming after you. I mean it. Watch your bag. You've been warned. <laughs> Mr. Clarkson. Hey, Jade. I thought I'd pop in and see how you are. I didn't expect to visit. I've got you some bits and pieces from everyone at Waterloo Road. Thank you. Thank you so much. We know all about you, Jade Fleming. How you were in care with Drew and what he did. He didn't mean to do it. I loved Drew, but I thought I might be pregnant. And I knew everything had to change. That's why I enrolled. Yeah, well, you've made the right decision. You've got to think about yourself now and your baby. And we'll be there for you both back at the school, OK? You might want to read this. Beautiful Jade. Please forgive me for breaking my promise to you again. 
This time I'm gonna get the help I need. And who knows? When I'm better, maybe we can meet up again. You, me, and our baby. I love you. And you know I'd do anything for you. Good luck at Waterloo Road. I know you'll do brilliant. Take it easy on me. Take it easy on me. I will trust you. I see what you are. The pastor knows what you are. Three falls you had last night. You know, I never thought I'd see this, Connor. But you're getting really boring. I reckon you had some sort of bit of the body experience. I said you're Luna! Luna, what you- That's the dream!